I am pleased to announce our 2018 Spring Grant recipients. We will be providing previews of each one of the grant recipients. In total, we awarded $84,818.33 to 13 different organizations for 15 different grants. In our 43 years of giving, we've provided over $2.5 million in grant funds to many, many different organizations that help so many in our community. So uh, we appreciate all the work that they do. Hello, my name is Beth Summers. I'm principal at Freeport High School, and I'm really thrilled to be back and receiving another grant from the Freeport Community Foundation. They've been very generous with us in the past as we've tried to expand our entrepreneurship curriculum. Um, specifically, this year's grant is going to assist at the middle school level, which is an extension of the high school project that they've helped fund in the past. We've partnered with an organization called Incubator EDU, which was created in Barrington High School and offers a middle school component that will be in use both at the 5-6 level at Carl Sandburg as well as at the 7-8 level at Freeport Middle School as an elective opportunity for our students. It allows students to take a project from the beginning through fruition and kind of develop their own business, which is an exciting introduction, I guess, into the business world and the power of creativity. So thank you once again to the Freeport Community Foundation. My name is Elizabeth Miley and I'm with the Warren Township Public Library. We received a grant for Ancestry.com Library Edition. We will be bringing Ancestry.com to the library to make it accessible for people who may not be able to afford it on their own. This is going to allow people who really care about their family heritage and genealogy to dig in deep without costing them anything. This is a, an interest that has grown immensely over the past couple of years, especially at the library. So many people are looking into their genealogy. We feel it's important to meet this need any way we can. So the Freeport Community Foundation has made this possible, and thank you. Hi, I'm Yvonne knight Wandell, and I'm the current executive director of Contact of Northern Illinois. The grant that we're receiving is going to be used to bring national mental health first aid trainers to Freeport to train people to be able to go out and do the eight-hour training of mental health first aid. Currently we have two people that are certified to teach mental health first aid, but we want to broaden that base so that we can offer more classes both in Stevenson and Joe Davies County. We look forward to teaching the mental health first aid classes here in the area, and I, I want to thank the Freeport Community Foundation for their generosity with this grant. I'm Jessica Modica, I'm with the Freeport Art Museum, and we received grant funds in support of Summer Artivation. Artivation is a program that keeps youth activated in the summer and prevents what is known as summer slide or summer learning loss. And we do that in partnership with the Boys and Girls Club with a variety of creative activities, including some community public pieces of artwork that is really exciting for the kids to participate in. We also receive some grant funds in support of Paint the Port. Paint the Port is a community-wide um, street paint party and it invites people to come downtown and paint a four foot by four foot square all along Chicago Avenue, which at the end it creates a very large temporary public art piece. And it's a, it's a really great way to beautify the city and um, also instill a sense of pride in our downtown. So we're very grateful to the Freeport Community Foundation for these funds. We couldn't do it without you. I'm Claudia Smith, the president of the Captain Lincoln Statue Project. It is going to be a statue of Abraham Lincoln as a young man at the Black Hawk Monument in Kent. The artist is Jay Castro. It is a project that is wonderful and interesting and very involved in the history of Stevenson County. We want to thank the Freeport Community Foundation for their interest and for their support. 
Hi, my name is Claire Brinkmeyer, and I'm here representing the Children's Hands-On Museum of Northwest Illinois, and we received a grant to build a dramatic play stage and theater area in our permanent location that will be opening this fall. This um, stage will allow children to put on plays and musicals and potentially use puppets and shadow puppets in creative play. Um, this gives us a chance to tie together all the donations we've received of costumes and scripts and puppets and uh, allow children to have a creative play experience in our museum when we open this fall. Thank you to the Freeport Community Foundation. Hello. I'm Julie Hilliger with the Senior Resource Center. We have been fortunate enough to be the recipient of two grants from the Freeport Community Foundation. The first is known as My Senior Center, and this is hardware and software that will revolutionize the way that our seniors register at the Senior Resource Center. It will just be at the touch of a touch screen for them whenever they walk into our buildings. Our other grant, which we are also very excited about, will allow us to bring a series of four different living history presentations to the public. And those presentations start in June and run through December of 2018. Thank you to the Freeport Community Foundation. Hi, my name is Vicki Jacobson and I'm the grant writer for Girl Scouts of Northern Illinois. We are accepting a grant from the Freeport Community Foundation to work specifically with girls who are at the Freeport Boys and Girls Club in after school programming. This funding will go to assist them with their membership fees, with materials, with badges, and with parts of their uniform that they may be in need of. It will also go to help girls in the Sleazer home and any other girls in the community who for some reason are unable to pay for their membership. So we are very happy today to accept these funds from the Freeport Community Foundation. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Marcy White and I'm with the Parent Enrichment Program. Uh, we're a part of the FHN Family Counseling Center. And we want to say thank you to the Freeport Community Foundation for this grant. Um, we will be using this money for supplies for our uh, ongoing home visits and activities with the families we work with. Some of those supplies will include oil for infant massage, um, even some safety items for the family so they can cover their outlets and lock cabinets. Um, we'll also be using the money for food for our monthly play groups. And um, we also try to put together preschool readiness kits for the children when they turn three. Uh, you know, a booklet of crayons and scissors and glues and, and things that they'll need as they go on to preschool. And thank you very much. Hi, I'm Tracy Kempel from Malcolm Eaton Enterprises. We will be utilizing the funds from the grant to purchase a Hoyer sit-to-stand lift. The sit-to-stand lift will allow our individuals served to remain as independent as possible while also ensuring the safety of our staff. Thank you again to the Freeport Community Foundation for the award. Hi, my name is Sarah Fowler and I'm the Education Manager with the NICAA Head Start Program in Freeport, Illinois. Um, we service 190 children in our community and we are very appreciative of the funding that we've received. It is going to supply a new playground for our location at the Pleasant Street site, which we have 20 children in each classroom. We have been in much need of a new playground for several years. The children and teachers at that site are just ecstatic to have the new playground, and it's going to bring a lot of joy for many years to come to a lot of our Head Start families and children. So we would like to thank the Community Foundation from the bottom of our heart for this. Thank you. My name is Karen Herdklatz. I am the director of Who Haven Wildlife and Educational Center in Durand, Illinois. We received a grant today from the Freeport Community Foundation, which will be used for eight fabulous programs in this area. 
all the way from little children to the Autobahn Society and everything in between. Our mission is twofold. We rehab North American wildlife um, in Illinois, southern Wisconsin, and eastern Iowa. And with the proper vet care, medicine, um, and physical therapy, we hope to get it back out into the wild. Um, then what happens is sometimes you have some that can't go into the wild, they become our ambassadors. And that's where we do the programs from. Um, the other part of our mission is to educate the whole world that um, Mother Earth is owned by everybody. And so if everybody does a little bit, then we'll all make it a better place for tomorrow. Um, again, thank you so much to the Freeport Community Foundation, as this would not have been possible at all without them. I am Sharon Welton from the Stevenson County Historical Society, and my grant was for the preservation of one of the museum artifacts. It is a handmade book created by one of the family members who lived in the house that's now our museum. Her name is Carissa Taylor Bass. She was an artist and she studied the ancient art of illumination. She created a book, it was a gift to her husband. It took her 29 years to complete. It includes 75 pages. The book is entitled The Songs of the Centuries and she took five centuries of poetry, hand wrote them out, and then illuminated them with beautiful illustrations, including gold leaf and all types of beautiful embellishments. It's a true work of art. It's been in our museum for close to 70 years. It's never had a proper display case, and the other problem is when it is in a display case, visitors to the museum can only see one page. So my grant will enable us to have a custom museum display case built. The book will be photographed and digitized. Um, there will be a screen above the case with digital images of all the pages that will scroll through so that visitors to the museum can see every page and not just the one on display. And so we are very grateful to the Freeport Community Foundation for this grant. Mm -hmm.